Heavenly Father, as we reflect on your word today, open our hearts to receive the wisdom and guidance you offer. Help us to understand your teachings and to live them out in our daily lives. May your Spirit inspire us to grow in faith and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading 1, Ezekiel chapter 16 verses 59 to 63. The Lord says, I will deal with you as you deserve, because you have despised my oath by breaking the covenant. Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you in the days of your youth, and I will establish an everlasting covenant with you. Then you will remember your ways and be ashamed when you receive your sisters, both those who are older and those who are younger. I will give them to you as daughters, but not on the basis of my covenant with you. So I will establish my covenant with you, and you will know that I am the Lord. Then, when I make atonement for you for all you have done, you will remember and be ashamed and never again open your mouth because of your humiliation, declares the Sovereign Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Isaiah chapter 12 verses 2 to 3, 4, and 5 to 6. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water. At the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Gospel, Matthew chapter 19 verses 3 to 12. Some Pharisees came to him to test him. They asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? Haven't you read? He replied, That at the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. Why then? They asked, did Moses command that a man give his wife a certificate of divorce and send her away? Jesus replied, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard, but it was not this way from the beginning. I tell you that anyone who divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another woman commits adultery. The disciples said to him, If this is the situation between a husband and wife, it is better not to marry. Jesus replied, Not everyone can accept this word, but only those to whom it has been given. For there are eunuchs who were born that way, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others, and there are those who choose to live like eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. The one who can accept this should accept it. Lord, we thank you for your unwavering faithfulness and the everlasting covenant you have made with us. Help us to honor our commitments in our relationships, especially in marriage. Reflecting your love and fidelity, give us the strength to live according to your will and to draw joyfully from the springs of salvation. May we always trust in your guidance and find peace in your presence. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.